let's see what we can do with the heat of reaction. So suppose we're given this reaction, 2NH3, which is ammonia, decomposes into N2 and 3H2. This has a delta H reaction of positive 92.4 kilojoules per mole or kilojoules. This tells me when I have two moles this of NH3 reacting, this will be the energy change. I want to find the energy absorbed or released when instead of having two moles of NH3, we have 26 grams of NH3. Well, first I'm going to convert the 26 grams to moles. So using grams equals moles times molecular weight, and NH3 has a molecular weight of 17. 26 divided by 17 tells me that we have 1.52 moles of NH3 reacting. I solve this problem by setting up a ratio. I know that 92.4 kilojoules are absorbed when we have two moles of NH3. I want to find out how much energy is released when we have 1.52 moles instead. So I'm going to cross multiply 92.4 times 1.52 divided by 2 gives me x to be 70.2 kilojoules. And this is because it was a positive delta H reaction. It's an endothermic reaction and 70.2 kilojoules are going to be absorbed. I tend to pretty consistently set these up so that what I have in my proportion is I have delta H reaction over a coefficient for the reaction. And the coefficient I use depends on which thing I'm talking about. So since we're going to use the grams of NH3 and the moles of NH3, I want to use the coefficient of NH3. If I instead had given you the moles of, or the grams of nitrogen, we would have used a one in our proportion. If I had given you the grams of hydrogen, we would have used a three in our proportion. And this is going to equal the actual amount of heat absorbed or released over the actual moles. Take a look back at this example if you need to um, before trying the practice problem.